Hello, ladies and germs, and welcome back to Destination Unknown. This is episode 11. I am Josh Elliott, and with me is... I am... The... Blake! The, the boy, Bludge Nubbins. And, uh... Tis I. And we are doing what we promised last week. Well, not last week. Last, we're gonna write uh, a script. Last podcast. But yeah, we're writing a script. Now, as some of you may be able to see from this, uh, this title up in here in the corner, we're going to be doing... A trailer for Cotton Eye Joe. Eyed? Is it Cotton Eye or Cotton Eye? I think eyed? it's Eye. I think it's just Eye. Co- yep, you're right. It's Cotton Eye Joe. Well, let's not dilly dally. No, absolutely not. Let's not dilly dally dilly at all. No. I hate dilly dally. Yes, it's probably. And I also hate dally dilly. It's probably my least favorite thing to do. Is Dilly Dally, mm-hmm. which is what we're doing mm-hmm. right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate us. All right, <clears throat> so um, the whole premise <clears throat> of this is we want to take a funny song and we want to make it into a like what suspenseful, dramatic horror yes, film for sure. Not 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 like a film. We're we're doing a trailer just to skip all the the hard exposition. Yes, and stuff. just so nobody is confused, we are releasing a trailer for a movie that we are never going to make. <laughs> yeah, so don't count on it. Cuz um, I realize that might be confusing, well, but Okay, so the whole premise, basically we need we need three characters. We need a man, we need a woman, and then we need Cotton Eye Joe. And this man and the woman, they need to be a couple. Okay. Because Cotton Eye Joe steals his girl. Well, hang on. Before we get there, um, do we want to approach this, which I think I already know the answer to it, but we might as well just discuss it. Are we approaching this as a man recounting the horrible incident that that uh, that happened to him involving Cotton Eye Joe? Or do we want? You mean like at the like he's narrating? Not necessarily, but potentially. Or do we want to go the route of this is like the history or origin of Cotton Eye Joe? What route do we want? Uh, to go? I'd rather, I'd rather it be not from Cotton Eye okay. Joe's perspective. No. It's from the perspective I, of the man who this yeah, happens. I like to. that too. And then Cotton Eye Joe, uh, or just Joe, can be the sequel that we'll do later. But. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll we'll do Joe. an actual full like two and a half hour movie for. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, well, obviously, obviously, his name is just going yeah, to be Joe. Sure. But okay, let's okay. focus on this. I agree. It should be from the perspective of the man that lost the woman. Um, okay, so I think I think honestly, okay, so in in the song in the song, um, one of my favorite things that like i noticed was that it's the same thing uh, over when, and over again <laughs> no 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 no. hold on i have to fi- i have to find where it's at um i believe the woman who sings she says he came from the field so handsome and strong yeah he rode through the fields so handsome and strong oh His okay eyes... he came to town like a midwinter storm yeah yeah His... yeah, yeah yeah so we have S- mm, okay okay so I think what could happen, I think a good setup for this is there's a couple on a picnic near a field, and emerging from the field is a man. Okay. So, so it's like, um, okay, so, hmm. What if, okay, so it says he rode through the fields, so handsome and strong. Yeah. What if he was riding a bicycle? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. A midsummer's breeze floats through the air. Um, the now I'm thinking about the logistics of this because um, I don't know anybody that owns a bicycle. It's okay. We'll come back okay. to this later. If it changes, <laughs> okay. it changes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the camera zooms out to reveal a couple Wait, having well, a Okay, picnic. this isn't how it should start though, right? Um, or we don't... Do you, yeah, like, it can start this way because I was just viewing like, the think... lyrics and... I don't yeah. think we need to go, like, based off of the lyrics. I think we definitely incorporate Entirely. the lyrics throughout. But I agree yeah. he came to town. Like, that should be the starting point. I, I like this. So fading so, in. Picture this. So it opens up like it's going to be almost like a romance film between yeah, this yeah, yeah. couple. And then it almost turns into a suspense. So it's like they're about to lean in to say something to each other, you know, something sweet. When, like, boom, you hear a drop. And then they both look and they hear rustling in the field. It is- 
and the super, man stands up to super approach. Super dramatic, like the, the leaves are rustling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then a, the camera just zooms a up. huge man. Oh, if, if I film it here, <laughs> it's going to be Nick Miller. <laughs> the camera zooms out to reveal a couple having a picnic near a cornfield. Um, uh, there is a man in a nice white button down shirt and a woman in a light sundress. They casually laugh at each other's jokes and then become intimate. That do- Okay, so that doesn't mean like... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let me... Intimate. <laughs> no. They... I'm basically saying they lean in close and they're they're talking to each other. They're so, laughing at each other's jokes, and then they begin to make love. Um, no? No. Why did I write my own name? <laughs> uh, what should this man's name be? I don't want to just not name um, him. Um, what could... What's a... What, what's, what's a schmuck no, name? No, I, I want it to be a name... The name of a man that's gone through tragedy. Gone through yeah, tragedy? Yeah, this man is the victim. Yeah, the name of a man who's gone through tragedy. Hmm. How about Jack Wild? <laughs> is that from, it's from Zootopia? It's the fox. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if his name's actually Jack. Um. Jeez, <clears throat> uh, this is see. This is this is what I was afraid of. I was afraid we'd be like, yeah, let's write a script. Wait, literally, and then they it just doesn't get caught up it, in the logistics. It doesn't matter. Just put James. We can change it to anything. Like, <laughs> yeah, James, and he says uh, he he's got to say something to uh, we'll call her we'll call her Valerie for right now. Now they have just a little little piece of dialogue. Um, what if they're talking about their wedding? Oh, I like that. I like this setup. <laughs> I like this setup. Do you think are they talking about their wedding or are they? All- Oh, because he'd be he'd have been married a long yeah, time yeah, ago. No, oh, yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, that's oh, what I was referring to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they're talking about the wedding, <laughs> mm-hmm. and um, so. Okay, okay, okay. It should be something playful. Yeah, for sure. Because they were just <laughs> laughing, and then um. Yeah. Uh, what if I was I was thinking about like seating or something like he's laughed. Okay. He's laughing about like one of his cousins being near someone, but like, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I, I'm I'm writing yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah. Suddenly, they'll they'll, they'll uh, be talking about their wedding. We can decide what exactly later. Suddenly, the conversation is interrupted by a a massive rustle. A massive rustle in the bushes. <laughs> in <laughs> in the, should it be a cornfield? Is it a cornfield? Nah, is just an like... open like grassy area. In the nearby bushes. Uh, they both wear a look of horror on their faces. But James stands to face the threat. He will let nothing harm his bride-to-be. With haste, the biggest most handsome man <laughs> James has ever seen bursts from the wilderness <laughs> bursts from the wilderness they're gonna know the people watching this are gonna know that I'm illiterate by watching the type <laughs> Burts. Burts. bursts bursts <laughs> <laughs> the biggest most handsome man James has ever seen bursts from the wilderness extreme close up on his face reacting. I think we can cut from this and like this can be the like where the first like trailer type cut is. Well, I think <clears throat> I think we should show like well yeah, it can it can definitely be um a cut, but I want to at some point in the trailer see like um James stepping in between Joe and the the girl and Joe just like yeah, like 
hitting, not like knocking him aside like he's nothing, and then mm, scooping okay. up the, the girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, is he literally? Is he literally taking? That's her? what I was imagining. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's wait. I thought I thought he like wooed her. <laughs> what route do we want to go? See, I'm um. The hearts of the girls was to hell, broken... Jesus. Joe, you madman. <laughs> you are a monster. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I think... His eyes was his tools, and his smile was his gun. But all he I had think, come I think for what it can was be having is... some fun. I think, I think what can happen is, maybe it's played off like he doesn't... I think he should not know, like, either he's lying about this, like he's saying he doesn't know who he is or, like, how he got there, but James and Valerie need to take him with them. Like, they take him back to James' house so that he can figure out what's going on, because for all they know, he's just appeared, and that's where the wooing starts. <laughs> James I think he should like, start with... So they take him back to, like, James' house, and, like, there's a yeah. picture, there's, like... There's, like, a shot of them eating dinner or something, and, like, James, yeah. not James, Joe will say something, and the girl will, like, really laugh at it and think it's funny. And, like, it'll yeah. show James, like, being a little, like, like, unhappy with this, and then, like, James will be washing the dishes later, and then he'll turn and, like, see, uh, like, her, like, with her hands on his, like, shoulders or something. Like, I don't know, like... Wait a second. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Instead of him, what if instead of him appearing like already looking handsome with haste, the biggest, most handsome man James has ever seen burst from the wilderness. What if instead of that with haste, a large and handsome man falls from the bushes to his knees. He locks one eye with James but clutches the other with his hand. Blood is trickling down. He's had an injury. Oh, his eye is okay. damaged. And so they take him in to nurse him back yeah. to health because he just appears. You know, that gives him much more James of a reason leaves, to take him in. James leaves the room and he's like, I'll go get some bandages from the bathroom yeah. or something. And then he comes back <laughs> in and like, Valerie's really close to him, like dabbing his eye with like a piece of like a cotton swab, <laughs> and like yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> so I think this can be like a hard cut to. Do you think they're already in his house, like, or do you think we we show anything else? So it's like um, after the cut, so interior James house. Day. They're also going to know that even after four years of schooling, I still don't know how to properly format a script. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fine. James. God! James House. Exterior field day. Um, so, like, maybe it, like, cuts to um, Joe and he's on the couch. You know, like you said, and James is talking to him, asking him what he remembers. Like, what mm -hmm. had happened. Okay. And I think he should say so. Okay, so... James... And Valerie are surrounding Joe on the couch. He is, uh... Lying down with ice over his eye. His other... I flutters awake and James begins speaking um what if so what if after the extreme close up on James face uh yeah what if it cuts to black and then you hear you hear okay. a little bit of James and Valerie talking but you don't see it Mm -hmm. Like it's kind okay. of muffled and like, like okay, it's like yeah, like, like it could be from Joe's perspective, like, like his eye, it, like his vision is going out. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Vision fading. Uh, let's do like vision fading to black. Um, 
and then you hear uh you hear Joe and Valerie um well James and Valerie like James will say like like Valerie will say like it's mumbled and you can make out like somebody saying we can't just leave him here and like I like yeah. that kind of stuff mm mm-hmm. mhm or like maybe it could be maybe we can even skip more like quick help me get him in and then we hear like we Jane. hear sound effects of a body being like placed in the car you think um potentially let's see Her like Joe's, James is like we don't even know this guy and Valerie's like we can't leave him here. Help me get him in the car or something. I I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Quit. Help me get him in. Maybe maybe it's like they're already doing it. It's like, are you sure about this? Okay, I like that. Are you sure? Are you sure about this? And then, and, and then, maybe the next yeah, cut see... is of of his eye, maybe like a, an extreme close up of like Joe's eye being open. So it, so after James' face, you see a um, it's a blurry uh, perspective from Joe of mm-hmm. the couple and his vision fades to black and then and then Mm -hmm. at times he'll like he'll open his eyes back up and like you'll see like a very blurry james and valerie like talking it's like Mm -hmm. are you sure about this we don't even know this guy like that kind of stuff yeah um yeah and then we get to the house so he's in the living room with valerie and james surrounding him he looks around and then i think he could ask what happened and then like james says like oh we were hoping you could tell us like what happened where am i that kind of yeah like what happened to me and he's like well we were hoping you could tell us okay because they don't know and maybe this could be almost where we could throw in a song lyric if we wanted um there's not a lot of song lyrics to work with um like let's see there are only two, like, different little verses. Like, if he said, um... He I came to town to have some fun. Or, uh... Oh, wait, okay, wait. What happened to me? We were hoping you could tell us. Where did you come from? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It, it has to be... Oh, Oh man. Okay, I've got I've got some ideas. Okay, let me okay. hear it. So what? Yeah, he says, "What happened to me?" We were hoping you could tell us. Uh, and he says, "I, I don't remember much. I came to town to have some fun, and then I woke up here. Uh, you could start with your name." So he tells them, Joe. Joe. Well, where did you come from, Joe? And he says he says something like that, like something yeah. akin to, yeah. Have a uh, have Valerie say it because she's not talking much. Okay, you could start with your name, Joe. Um. Oh wait, wait. Okay, I think at this point he could notice. Um. He like the camera's zooming out like from his eye, and he notices that, like, uh, okay. So picture this. So from here, you see what I've got selected. Yeah. Okay, so it's like an extreme close up of Joe's eye. He's in the living room with Valerie and James. We see from his perspective, and we only see an extreme close up of his eyes. So we do not really see his face. Um, and he says, "What happened to me?" It's like you don't see his mouth, but we know it's him because we've heard James' voice. Um, and James says, we were hoping you could tell us. And then when it cuts back and he's saying this, the camera's slowly starting to zoom out. And he says, 
you could start with your name. And then when we get to this, the camera zooms out enough that we can see there's already cotton over his eye. Like, he's already been treated. So, he, like, starts to notice that this has happened. Mm -hmm. He's like, what? What? Or, like, uh, he could say something akin to, like, Joe. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we continue. Yeah. What, like... What type of trailer do we want this to be? Like, do we want this to be suspenseful? I think okay. so. I think in a suspenseful trailer, it would cut from as soon as he says Joe. You know what I mean? Like, you could start with your name, okay. and then he just, like, hesitates for a minute. And, like, as soon as you mm -hmm. see the cotton eye, like, like the cotton over his eye, he could open his other eye and just say Joe or something like that. And then it cuts to black with, like, some... okay. Let's let's think about okay, let's think about the direction that we want to take this because we can worry about the dialogue yeah. and things, but let's think about the beats. So the beats that we want to hit. So um I want a dramatic reading at some point in the trailer of um he brought disaster wherever he went. The hearts of the girls yeah. was to hell broken scent. They all ran away okay, so yeah. nobody would know and left only men cuz of Cotton Eye Joe. Like, I think that would be <laughs> very funny at some point to have. Yeah. Okay, so shots of um, Valerie and Joe getting a little too close. I think, I think what can happen is... Um, okay, I think here's what needs to happen. Um, J uh, James needs to uncover a conspiracy like while they nurse Joe back to health in their house. Okay. Uh James needs to come like be uncovering a, a conspiracy that the women in the town are starting to go up missing. <laughs> okay. Like he he like he's walking around and like maybe there's like more and more wanted posters. Or sorry, not wanted, but like missing posters. And like he he has a conversation with with somebody and like either their their wife is left or like they don't know where she is, and he finally comes to the conclusion that it's Joe, and that he's taking them all, and it's like they decide to go with him. You know, he's not like stealing them; he's just wooing them. Uh -huh. And then when he comes back to warn Valerie, she's already gone. Ooh, I like that. But we have a we have a long ways to go. So shots of Valerie and Joe getting a little too close. Um. <clears throat> Who should, uh, because at some point, James has to say, if it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd been married a long time ago. Like, that whole, that whole thing. What if thing. that's how it opens? What if that's, like, in the, in the black, like, at the very beginning, before anything else, so on a black screen, if it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd have been married a long time ago. Like that? And then we open on the field. Yeah. Or... Yeah, that's that's good. Should should that uh should that line be said a lot throughout the trailer or something similar just because like that's kind of the song. Like yeah. that's the whole thing with the song like it's said over and over and over again. <laughs> like if it, if it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe. I'd been married a long time ago. Is there actually... Is there actually... Okay. I'd been married... Is there actually such ago. a thing as, like, having a... What does cotton-eyed mean? I don't know. <laughs> Hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a Google. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. What? The, what? 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 Are you seeing Jesus. the STD thing? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a very sad long song. It's actually a very sad love song. Cotton which is why Joe the song is actually repeatedly... a song about STDs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, okay, we're going to go the cotton okay. about on the eye route. Yeah. 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 Okay. <clears throat> um. 
Oh man, <laughs> shots of Mallory and Joe getting a little okay. Too close. Can I say something for a second <laughs> before we continue? Yes. How in the world? Yeah. How I, I I should have gone into the music industry because the Rednecks R E D N E X released a song <laughs> that is literally the same four lines over and over again with only like two deviations. If you if you look you know, up the lyrics, fair, a lot of songs if you look up that. the lyrics, yeah. it's literally. If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did it you go? Where did you Eye come Joe. from, Cotton Eye Joe? And then it does it again, like four <laughs> more times, the, word for word. Then they have a little bit like of a deviation. Mm-hmm. Then it goes back to even I'm for Cotton Eye Joe. I've been waiting a long time. <laughs> like oh my gosh. Right, we're going to put the entire lyrics to this song in the description. And you will see. Yeah. You will see how <laughs> dumb this song is. Shots of Valerie and Joe getting a little too close. Um, let's see. Dude, I, the, Cotton Eye Joe is, a, is about to become the new Jurassic World of our podcast. Oh, God. We're going to talk about it all the time. Okay. And I had to plug Jurassic World once. Yeah, I won't go into it. No, I won't this either. I won't either. Yeah. <laughs> you start with your name. Okay. Wait, okay. So you know how... Okay, so you know how you said there's a suspenseful... There's a suspenseful cut. In the, no, no, no. Okay, like, hang on. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just had such a good idea. So it okay. goes from... So Valerie doesn't say anything. It goes from that, like Joe, and it's like a, uh, it's like a quick, like, <clears throat> like instant, like cut to black, and then it shows James walking out of the house, and he sees his neighbor, and he waves over to him, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, "How you doing, neighbor?" Or like we can give him a name or something. Yeah. And uh, his neighbor like like kind of exhales like ugh, like sighs and he's like i think kathy finally left me or something like that and like like yeah. he just like kind of establishing that someone has le- like someone like a woman is gone like and we think initially that it's just like someone got a divorce but then like there um, could be a shot of him at the st- at the store and like he overhears a guy telling like talking on the phone and Mm -hmm. he's like yeah sarah like sarah's been gone i haven't heard from her for two days like she all of her stuff is gone and all this stuff and like he's obviously like you know like that's a crazy coincidence he's heard about two like like girl like women walking out on their husbands like back to back and then like yeah on the way home he's like carrying his groceries and he like starts to see all these signs of like missing women okay yeah and then and then (laughs) there will be one last thing where he like um what if he sees joe running like running uh or i don't know like what if he sees a picture okay what if if the final the final thing he sees like he sees all the missing posters the final thing he sees and he stops dead in his tracks it's a sketch of a man that looks like Joe with a woman with a woman like over his shoulder and the guy and he's like barreling into the woods <laughs> and he's like he, wait a sketch yeah it's like a hand drawn sketch it's like it says like watch out for this man or something and he's like looking at it and then like you can see in his face like the realization and he just whispers like Joe and then he starts running to his house <laughs> okay so he sees his neighbor tobias who gives a heavy exhale so oh gosh i think he should i he love should, he should have a reason I love this. To, he should have a reason to go outside like he should say uh, it just be the, like the morning like he's going out I, to get the paper or something like check the mailbox or something okay sure Good morning, Tobias. 
And he says, maybe for you. Oh, that's <laughs> sad. Oh, that's so sad. Maybe for you. I don't know where my wife is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what, what What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, like, what do you... Like she's missing? <laughs> mean. <laughs> like she's missing? Not a word. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Let's let's see if there's let's see if there's a line in the song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. It end. Oh God, it is the same words over and over again, isn't it? They all ran away so nobody would know. God, it is. It's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. It is. There's nothing. I else. didn't realize that. It's if it hadn't been forgotten, I do over and over again. That's the only yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing really. <clears throat> yeah. That we okay. can do. Okay. Um. What do you mean? Like she's missing? Just up and vanish. Vanished. Without a trace. What do you mean, like she's missing? Just up and vanished without a trace. Uh, I thought our marriage was going like he should. He <laughs> no, he should. He should imply that he thinks he left her. Like she's missing. Just up and vanished without a trace. Uh. But you guys seem so happy. Or I don't know. Have you called the police? I I think she just left me, James. I need some time alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he needs he needs to come he needs to come back in and he's like, "Valerie, you'll never believe it. Kathy <laughs> Kathy's gone miss and then when he sees, he sees that she's like really close to Joe like uh, you know, <laughs> like helping him with his wound, you know. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. She's like, she's like, <laughs> it could, it should be like blatant. Like she's like sitting on his lap, like tending to his wound. <laughs> <laughs> what if he's like, Tobias. he's like, do you really think it's necessary to be sitting on his lap or something? And she's like, I don't, I don't she's think she's just we... like, no, I just think it's like. <laughs> It's just funny, because she's like, he's just so big and strong, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, maybe, okay, um, okay, hold on. Let's, I don't think, maybe, maybe we don't go so overt that's, initially. Yeah, that's fine. So it's, so, like, interior, house, day. Uh, James is rounding the corner, um... Speaking aloud as he could you just uh, could you just bold that actually instead of doing the asterisks yeah James is around the corner speaking aloud as he goes so he says Valerie you'll never believe it I think Kathy finally went and divor <laughs> divorced um so. James and and sees. I think you should that, call her Val. Uh, Val, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Val, you'll never believe it. I think Kathy finally went and divorced. James rounds the corner and sees that Valerie is very close <laughs> to Joe. Uh, dabbing a wet over his eye um she she doesn't even notice that james was speaking i think she should be saying something to joe <laughs> okay how a big strong man like you get hurt anyway <laughs> and he goes, Val! <laughs> and he, like, interrupts. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<clears throat> Valerie turns. A big strong man like you get hurt anyway. <laughs> oh, hey James. <laughs> what if he doesn't even like say what he was gonna say? Uh, uh say before. Uh, what if he's yeah. just like? What oh, if wait, he's sorry, just like? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to the store. Do you need anything <laughs> or something? Like that? Yeah. And then I that'll set up the next scene. Hear... This is not even like a trailer. This is like the whole movie. But like, what? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, James. I didn't hear you walk in. <clears throat> I think Joe should tack something on that's like... <laughs> it's those soft feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'd hear me coming from a mile away. <laughs> that's so weird. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> I mean, we can always change this. It's We're those just... <laughs> soft baby feet. <laughs> Baby feet. <clears throat> you hear me? Coming You'd hear me coming. A mile away. <laughs> <laughs> and she and she should like laugh like really hard. Oh my god! <laughs> and he's like, "That's not even funny." <laughs> that wasn't even a good joke. <laughs> <clears throat> Valerie laughs. That wasn't even that. Ugh, Very, whatever. I'm yeah. going to the store. Do you need anything? Um, okay, so, it's those soft baby feet. You hear me coming from a mile away. And she's just, like, laughing. And he, <laughs> and he says, uh, I think he should tell her to come with him, because, like, she, maybe they were going to go together, and then she decides instead to stay with Joe in case he needs right, so he says, Because I don't he think... He says, like, he's like, he's like, whatever, um... Val, are you ready to go to the store or something like that? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It should be... It should be somewhere... It should be somewhere else. They should be going to check out a wedding venue. And then maybe... Maybe that explains... Like, you ready to go... Uh, like, you ready to go check out the venue? Or, like... We can always change the wording later. But, like, I think that makes it even harsher that she doesn't want to go. You ready to go check out the venue? Um, sure. And then she says, "No, you just go, sweetie. I need to like." Yeah. Um. Oh. oh and then the the initial thing. He's not even overhearing someone on the phone. It's the guy showing him the venue. He's like, "Man, yeah. I'm really happy for you. You know, my wife left me recently, or something like that." <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh shoot. And she's like, oh shoot. Love's hard to find these days. <laughs> I'll say something like Sorry, really sweetie. sad I... and like. Yeah. Sorry, sweetie. Uh. I think I should stay with Joe and or something. I think I should. I think I should stay with Joe, just in case anything else happens. Happen. <laughs> and he's like, what could happen? <laughs> What could possibly happen? It needs to be almost, like, implicit. He's like, what else is gonna happen? And, he's, and uh, I think Joe should disarm the situation. He's like, relax, big man. You know, he, he says something calming because his eyes are his tool. His, eyes, else is his gonna... eyes were his tool and his smile was his gun. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, shoot, that's today. Sorry, sweetie. I think I should stay with Joe just in case anything else happens. What else is going to happen? <laughs> uh, we've, we've been planning today for months. What else is going to happen? <clears throat> uh, come on, James. Kind of man can't <laughs> can't handle a little a little venue shopping. A little uh, kind of man can't handle 
It needs to be, like, questioning his manhood. Yeah, yeah for sure. <clears throat> oh, come on, James. What kind of man can't ha handle a solo ride? <laughs> Something that, like, he's like, he doesn't even know what that means, but he just storms out. All right, and then J James just... James, furious, exits. Um, <clears throat> I think Valerie should turn her... Uh, Valerie turns her attention back to Joe. So tell me. And I think she should she should call him Cotton Eye Joe. So tell me, Cotton Eye Joe, where did you come from and then it can do another cut like he gives he gives a smile oh yeah and then we cut oh yeah gives a gives a shy smile his loaded gun <laughs> <laughs> uh hard cut <clears throat> interior I think, okay, maybe as he's, so we can visually show something instead of just saying something. Maybe as uh, James is pulling in, he about gets hit by a car <clears throat> that's like leaving okay, the parking the lot. And he parks. I, what, before, before we talk about this, um, this video is going to be like decently long. Like, I don't even know if we should call it a trailer. Like, mm, what if we just okay. call, what if we just called it? Um, what if it was just called Cotton Eye Joe, like, a short film, or something like that? Cotton Eye Joe, the movie, yeah, I don't know. Okay, whatever, we can talk about what it will be called later, but what were you saying about the wedding yeah. venue? So, I'm thinking to visually show something, and, oh, excuse me, instead of just telling something, it's like, so, interior, or sorry, exterior, wedding venue, uh, James is quickly pulling into the parking lot when he is almost struck by a car rapidly leaving. He gets out and looks at the car speeding away. Um, he um, starts to yell, but is interrupted by a man in a nice suit clutching flowers. <laughs> the man uh, runs out to the, the street and drops <laughs> to his knees sobbing. <laughs> Poor man. <laughs> and it's like, it's implied that like, this... <laughs> What if she's, like, in a wedding dress? <laughs> like, she just walked out on him. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> well, you know, this is what Cotton Eye Joe does to people. <laughs> okay, we can't we can't live in some fantasy world where he's the hero. Cotton Eye Joe is obviously the yes, villain. Yes, he's a monster. <laughs> if it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I would have been married a long time ago. Um, What if that's what he's... What what if what if that's what the man says to James? He's like, if it hadn't been for Joe, I would have been married today or something like that. Um or, you think he gets it revealed right here and now? What if he says if it hadn't uh, been for that cotton eyed freak? <laughs> that cotton eyed freak. <laughs> um I'm I'm looking through I'm looking through the lyrics right now. Well, there's now. not much to look through. No, I know. <laughs> I keep looking I keep looking at it imagining that something's going to change and it doesn't. I look for it for inspiring material <laughs> and all I see is the same word over and over again. <laughs> if it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe um drops to his knees sobbing. Uh <sighs> 
<laughs> like, this guy could be, like, despondent. He's like, I've been married a long time ago. I'd have been married a long time ago. And James is like, are you all right? Are you all right? He's like, if it hadn't been for... I don't think he dies, but he just stopped. Like, no, he, I don't I think, think he, he says... get interrupted like, by, the, by the man that, like, owns the venue or something. <clears throat> he's like, you must be James, right and this like, way. Like, he, he comes out and he's like, what a pity. That's the fourth one today. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, like, he's <laughs> like, going to reveal that, like... I was going to say, like, James will ask how much the venue is, and he's like, honestly, yeah. man, we're just desperate for business at this point. So, yeah. like... <clears throat> the man runs out to the street and drops to his knees, sobbing. James notices this, then runs back to, uh, to greet him. Um... woman almost hit me and he's just like he's crying It would have been if it wasn't for, and then that he yeah. gets interrupted. It would have been. I'd have been married. Married a long time ago. If it hadn't been for, and then he gets interrupted, and he get that he gets interrupted. Yeah, I'd have been married a long time ago. A long time ago. If it hadn't been for, <laughs> and then like as this happens, so. As the man is speaking, the venue owner approaches from behind James. Such a pity. I'm terribly sorry, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Wells. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wells. I'm sure this brings, uh, okay, uh, <laughs> that's the fourth one today, of course, I'm sure that brings you no comfort, <laughs> 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 like he, like he's like, I'm such a pity, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wells, that's the fourth one today, uh, of course, I'm sure that brings you no comfort, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you must be James. Come right in, my boy. I think Come it right be in. The fourth one this month, because why would a venue have like four weddings in one day? Uh, oh, okay. That's the fourth one. That's fair. <laughs> That's the fourth one this month. Of course, I'm sure that brings you no comfort. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <sighs> James, James, well, James should say like, oh, gosh, James should say something like, what's happening around here or something like <laughs> yeah. that. What is going on in this town? <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems a, a handsome stranger rode into town. <laughs> <clears throat> my boy we are uh we're currently at 47 minutes do you think we we can i think i think we can finish soon i want him to say <laughs> i want him to say <laughs> they all ran so nobody would know <laughs> <laughs> and then um they all ran so nobody would know and left only men <laughs> and they all ran so nobody would and know. Left, and left, and left only us men. <clears throat> and then James will be like, "So nobody would know what." <laughs> and then the owner's like, "About him." 
<laughs> about him. And then he could he could like point to a picture. He points to the picture. Do you is there I mean where is this picture though? Uh just like stapled to a uh, like pole or something. Like <clears throat> so nobody they all ran so nobody would know and left only us men. So nobody would know what? <laughs> You haven't heard. What if he? What if he said like, uh, "Hold on, you what are, I'm going back to the lyrics. I know that. I know that there's. Okay, he says. Uh, so, ha- oh, venue owner point about him. Venue owner points towards an uh, an image. Stape. I, oh, sorry. I started to type like attached to a telephone yeah. pole. A <laughs> strong man carrying a woman over his shoulders. <laughs> and then, uh... I think, honestly, we can we can always come back oh to this. Oh my gosh, think... and this is... Okay, this is... He... Joe... Not Joe. James walks up to the post, like, the picture. And he looks at it, and, um... Uh, we can fill in the gaps in a second. And then he says, he says Joe, and then it's shots of him running, like, through, like, <laughs> running yeah. down the street, and that's when the music is playing, like, if it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, uh, like, yeah, I think, I think as he's running, he should see, he should see all these, like, sad men, like, on the streets. <laughs> he's running past all these sad men, and then, like, yeah. <laughs> women like leaving their husbands and like yeah <laughs> oh my gosh this is so funny joe <laughs> exterior montage James i don't even know if it should be is... short like not short i don't even know if it should be like sad and like like yeah. I think, like as he's running, it's hey, hey, it's hey, literally hey, hey, as he's as he's hey, running, it's hey, literally. Hey, if it hadn't been forgotten, I do. I haven't married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Like it's actually just like, yeah, like a normal playing of the song. But his audio is mute. In the background, we hear <laughs> the song as James runs. He passes many depressed and sad men in the streets. Some clutch flowers, others <laughs> oh cry. Oh my gosh. Others stare solemnly. <clears throat> <laughs> Joe is in this for like such a short period of time, but it's great. James reaches the end of his like my favorite part is that he drove to the venue and now he's <laughs> he, ran, he home. ran home yeah <laughs> i know i love that james reaches the end of his own driveway and bursts what if the door is through. open <laughs> like the door is the okay. door is a gate and he, he just runs through and he like I don't know. How do we, like, show that she's gone? Like, I feel like there should be something, like, visually obvious. Like. Um. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Okay. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. What if. (laughs) What if, um, okay. So he, he runs in. Maybe, okay, so what if we make, okay, we're going to go full circle here. At the very beginning, the field is in their backyard, okay? Okay. So, we'll, we'll say that. James reaches the end of his own driveway and bursts through the door. Now, I just want you to, to watch what I type up here. I think the reveal will be much okay. better. I'm ready. James reaches the end of his own driveway and bursts through the door.
Joe. And I believe that's a podcast. I believe that that's a podcast. Uh, this is a um, super weird podcast. Uh, let us it's a super let us weird know podcast. if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, we may and, do it again at some point. But And we will say, this is by no means the final draft. Yeah. There are a lot of things missing from this. This is not going to be exactly what we film. But we wanted to give an ending to everyone here. So... This is kind of like what the process goes like. I don't think we've ever been so on the spot. Yeah, no, definitely not. It's normally ideas coming together like very slowly over time because we like to procrastinate. <laughs> but, the, but <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Um, but be on the lookout for Cotton Eye Joe, the trailer. Yeah. Or the movie. I don't I don't know which it is at this point. <laughs> it'll come. It'll come. <laughs> I'll, I'll say soon, but I don't know what that means. Where will it come from? Where will it go? Where will it come from? Cotton Eye Joe. See you guys. See you later.